Hey guys, welcome to the Kai and Tai Show. In today's first look episode, we are jumping into Wildstar Reloaded. Oh yeah. Ugh, that's right. This is a free-to-play sci-fi MMORPG by Carbine Studios. And today we're going to be taking turns, uh, kind of giving our first impressions, or at least my first impressions, since Kyler isn't completely new to the game, but let's get right into it. That's right. So I've actually played the game before, but this is the free-to-play reloaded launch. I had a couple episodes on the channel. So we're going to go through and make a new one and talk about our impressions. So let's see, we got this experience. Am I new to MMOs? New to Wildstar or I'm a veteran? I'm a veteran fool. Okay. They're all bald. These guys are at least. <laughs> Alright, I'll take the good guys if you want to take the bad guys. Alright, sounds good to me. Okay. Should I play as a little rabbit dude? The undead Mordesh, the big Gronox, or just a human? Uh, you pick, man. This is your character. I want to play as an Aran. Look at these little dudes. Do it. Uh, I'm gonna be a man. Oh gosh. He still looks like a woman. <laughs> oh my heck. Alright, let's see. We got the, the class I've never actually played before is the Esper class. Esper? Uh, what is that? I don't know. Mind... Mind Spellcaster. Oh, gotcha. Yep. So we got Engineers, Espers, Medics, Spellslinger, Stalkers, and Warriors. Yes, I know I can't be a warrior. Okay, so then we got our class paths. So we can either be an explorer, scientist, settler, soldier. What do you think I should be? I don't know. I've never, I don't know anything about this game, so I don't know how it affects the gameplay or anything. Okay, let's see. Nexus is an explorer's paradise. As they venture across the uncharted world, explorers use their abilities to find hidden paths, search for ancient relics, and set up surveillance to see what the bad guys are up to. The scientist. Nexus is. Oh, sorry. Nexus is chock full of knowledge just waiting to be discovered. Scientists and their scan bots can learn all there is to know about Nexus by analyzing, cataloging, and researching its secrets. From alien biology to discovering the next big breakthrough. Alright, and we got... The settlers are here to tame this hostile alien world by establishing defenses, civil services, and expansions to existing towns and settlements. These brave souls are indispensable on the frontiers of Nexus. And last but not least, we have the Soldier. Soldiers take the fight to the enemy by assassinating powerful foes, testing new weapon systems, and claiming territory. Whether defending allies from an alien menace or demolishing enemy resources with high explosives, they always have a blast. <laughs> All right, well, I guess we're going to have a blast then. Okay, literally, I am not liking this. I'm going to randomize him until he looks cool. I'm not... Oh, jeez. <laughs> Gosh. He's a fairy person. <laughs> oh, my heck. There we go, that's pretty- oh, that's cool. He's like a Naruto ninja. Sweet, I got my character, I'm ready to go. I like your spaceship. Thank you. After surviving a deadly Dominion attack in orbit, you've left the gambler's ruin and arrived in Everstar Grove. But things are getting foul and freaky in the forest, and no one seems to know why. Ready to put your big person pants on? Time to take care of business. Okay, uh, I'm gonna assume don't show me tutorials of this type. Don't show me any tutorials, because I already know what I'm doing in this game. Here we go, Wildstar. It looks wow. This, look at this. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. Look at those trees. My character actually... <laughs> look at the way he runs backwards. Cash shop. Wait, hold on, I got a phone call. Profitable tidings. I detect potential profit. Learning to shop. I see you have a very your very first Omni bit. There's no better use for it than purchasing an item from your very own in-game store. Take a look. Okay, I'll check it out. Thank you. Protostar. Protostar this game kind of reminds me of Ratchet and Clank for some reason. Dude, it's totally Ratchet and Clank. Is it? Yeah. Like, I know... You know, because Tyler can't hear anything right now because we only got one headset going. But, like, you jump in and there's, like, a dude that's like, Welcome to Nexus, Cupcake. Are you <laughs> ready to fight the bad guys and kick some A? And I'm like, whoa, okay. So here's the cash shop. And I have to say, like, this game has, like, the best free-to-play model, like, I've probably ever seen. Really? Like, in any game. See these little, like, symbols up here? Yeah. So you can either buy and coin to buy stuff. Or you can earn Omni Bits while playing the game. To also buy that stuff. Okay, so you can you earn Omni Bits to buy the end coin. Mm -hmm. Like for instance, they've got these sweet Blood Forged weapon sets. You can either pay 390 end coin with real cash, or you can earn 195 Omni Bits. Oh, gotcha. And, and are all items like that, or are there some items that you can only buy with cash? 
Uh, it looks like there's a like some of these bundles. You can only buy with cash. Uh, these, yeah, a couple of these things. You can buy some sweet celebratory wings for your hoverboard. Um, they definitely have a lot of new cool stuff. Oh my gosh, look at these costumes. I want to see what this looks like on my character. That's cool. I like the music. Like, if you can hear the music right now, it's like an elevator music. <laughs> is it nice and relaxing? <laughs> Just like, da, 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 da. And these are some cool weapons. They have definitely improved this game a lot since the last time that I actually jumped in. Now they have this automatic mouse look that's still kind of in beta. So while you're moving around, uh, let's see, I like to do moving and in combat. So now like if you're moving around, your camera will actually swap, like your mouse will swap to camera mode. And you can move oh, your, I see. without having to touch the buttons. Especially, and also when you're in combat too. Uh, some of my abilities, it looks like I've got three abilities. I've got Telekinetic Strike, Mind Burst, and Crush. What's Crush? I never tried Crush. Okay, my character literally just went, ah! He shot a, he shot a Kamehameha. Yeah, but nothing happened. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so from what I could tell, is my number one ability is my resource like it gathers resources generates psi points which is like right here this weird eyeball looking thing and then my mind burst uses the psi points and depending on how many psi points i have it shows how much damage i do and then my crushing ability that looks like it applies like a knockback and it has like a cone a cone ability a shotgun shotgun ability oh i have to protect them from these big turkeys Let's try this ability. These overgrown turkeys. Oh, sweet. Thanksgiving's early. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, I just earned an Omni bit. I wonder if, it looks like you probably gather them like every like five minutes or so. That's nice. We're going sightseeing. I wonder what other, uh, other this is first person mode. This is how I play Elder Scrolls Online. I can play this game like this too. Like I can fight first person mode. Ugh. I can't do that. It's making me sick. <laughs> yeah, it looks kind of weird. I feel like this game, you have to play in third person. <laughs> yeah. oh, look, crazy. that's a little herd of those does. Look at the does! Oh! Achievement granted. I literally just achieved... <laughs> what the heck? I just got an achievement for being knocked down by those things. Ha-ha! Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes! Look at my pig. Dang, he's got six eyes, man. Does he really? Yeah. Oh, six. Oh, no! Ah! <laughs> They're coming. They don't like your pig. They're trampling me again. <gasps> no way. Look at that. Do you what? see that glowing ground thingy? Yeah. This is a discovery. I think that's what they're called. What did I find? A uh, potency infuser. Increase your assault and support power. Sweet! Now I do more damage. I thought you were just doing it for fun. <laughs> Chasing no. butterflies. Or I only flies. do these things for rewards in game. It's the only time I ever play games is for the stuff. Gotta get that stuff. And Wildstar is super good at like giving players a bunch of stuff for free. Oh sweet, I finished. Where are you going? I don't oh, know. Exolab 71, the Arbit... Arb... Arb... Arbitorum? <laughs> How yes. do you say that? <laughs> Abortrium. Abortion. Uh, uh, not abortion. <laughs> Definitely not abortion. This is a, a giant abortion clinic for aliens. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. Watch out for that <gasps> the thingy. The spotlight of doom. Okay. Awesome. Perfect. I think this ends for my first impressions for the game. At least I got a chance to jump in and play only to level three. So now we're going to have Tyler jump in. Oh, yeah. You ready? Yeah, you know it. All right, guys, we're back. It's my turn, Tyler, to get into Wildstar. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, does it really matter if I click on one of the, like, the novice or the new to Wildstar? Well, I've actually only ever done new to Wildstar and veteran. If you do new to Wildstar, it takes you, like, through a story thing to kind of get you acquainted to it. If you hit veteran, okay. it takes you right to the world. If you hit novice, you're, like, in this, like, hologram thing. But I've never done it, so. Okay, let's just do veteran. You're a boss. For now. You're not no noob. Okay, this guy looks pretty cool. That guy looks too cute to be a bad guy. <laughs> so I'm gonna go with the Draken? Draken? Draken. Okay, so Spell Slinger. 
Spell Slingers combine arcane know-how with lethal quick draw acumen, making them the deadliest gunslingers in the galaxy. Stalkers are assassins without equal. Prowling like silent predators, they use stealth and razor-sharp claws to cut their enemies to ribbons. And Warrior. Warriors armed with massive power swords and versatile arm cannons are the embodiment of brute force in the battlefield. Uh, do you want to be Han Solo or do you want to be uh, Luke Skywalker? That's the real question here. <laughs> well, sp I don't want to say a spoiler, but... Uh... From the new Star Wars. Let's see. I'm gonna go with this guy. Let's hey, check out this. his armor. Yeah, mid level. Looks all right. Dude, look at that freaking sick sword. Oh, oh dang! Oh gosh. He's got a tail too. I didn't see that. Oh, oh geez, you should. You have to be. Oh no! Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say you have to be that guy. Oh my god. Oh, okay, one. should we be him? <laughs> he's pretty cool looking. Let me let me just say. He's got a sad look. He looks like he's a. Uh, a little slow. <laughs> all right, hey, let's just go with this guy. He's all about that brute force, man. Yeah. I, I like to swing my sword. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. Mash. Momo. Let's do it. I don't know how big of a fan I am, though, of the first and last name thing. I kind of like just having, like, one. Yeah, same name. here. I mean, do you have to enter two names in? Yeah, it won't let you. Yeah. Sad, sad days. <laughs> I'm so excited for you to hear the guy's voice, though. Oh, yeah? I, I think it'll pop up, hopefully. Whoa. The Earth just gave birth to metal babies. <laughs> this game, the guy sounds very angry. <laughs> Is it the deep voice guy? No, it's like an evil-sounding dude. I Explorer too. You need to learn your English, dude. Okay, let's go exploring. Go, go, quick, quick, now, now. Should oh. I talk to this guy too? Yes. Yeah. Mondo Zax. He's one of the main characters. You right? Yep. And then those little, yeah, those are telling you things. But you should probably get out of the red. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for letting me know. Oh, oh gosh. Oh, you're not supposed just... to step on it, huh? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> well, that's one way to take care of him. <laughs> Dude, you just got a new sword already? Oh, yeah. And then if you hit V, you can vacuum loot. Okay. Ooh, go check out your new sword. Profitable tidings. Oh, that guy's just telling you about the shop. Okay, I'll check go it out. Go away, Protostar there, store Proto consultant. Star. There for you. Uh, and then if you hit I, you can go to your inventory. Hey, look, there's your pig that I slaughtered. <laughs> how dare you? Your mount. Oh, don't step on that thing. <laughs> yeah. uh, how do you go to your inventory? Uh, I. Okay. Oh, it's... Wait, let's... So do you want to, the thing is, is do you want to be a Sith Lord with less power, or do you want to be a freaking Jedi? Uh, you, I'll end up getting something else. Right. Ooh, and you got new armor. And how do you vacuum? V? Uh, it auto-vacuums those things for you. Okay. And then, you get it. Yep. Nice. Not gonna lie, that looks cooler, but oh well. Oh, gosh, I can't. Gosh. <laughs> Dude, I can jump pretty high like that. Your sword totally looks bad, eh, though? Yeah, I do I do like the red color more, but this is powerful. Or more powerful. Uh, the controls know, definitely get, are you, super hard to get used to. Yeah. You know, when Anakin first turned bad, he still had a, a green or blue lightsaber, whatever it was. That's true, but he murdered a bunch of children with that. <laughs> true. And now it's red because of, of their blood. Oh, he's casting an ability. Oh, well, too late. Doubled. Did you get in check? Did you hear the guy's voice? Yeah. Achievement. I don't know if it's the same one that you're hearing though. Achievement granted. That one. Oh, maybe it is. Thanks. Yeah. Hey, okay. go stand in that light. Why? <laughs> Just go do it. Just go stand in it. Oh. Uh. <laughs> You've been spotted by a sentry light. Wait, what? Is oh, gosh. oh, geez. You almost <laughs> like walked right back into it. It's a good thing you didn't. I don't know. Awkward. Oh, what the heck? That's what I saw. That little, little hamster guy. Hello, and then disappears. Oh gosh, that guy got nailed. Oh, there's oh, one over there. Huh. Can you sprint? Is there a way to sprint? Uh, I think it's your auto because they used to have sprint, but then they just made it so you just automatically sprint all the time now. Um. What's so? What's this thing down here? What's that like? Pass? Oh crap! The like little that skull thing in the center right here. Oh, those are that's your uh, uh, rage bar. 
So as you use your number one ability, it's on your left click, uh, and then unleash your right ability, it does more damage. Kind of like what I did previously with my other character. Oh, gotcha. And then if you hit C, it looks like you have a cell phone call from Mondo Zax. Mondo listening. Respect Mondo and he may let you live. Oh, so, that's so nice. Okay, let's do this. I don't know what's uh, happening. Oh, you have to jump up into those and, and knock people out. Boom. These are guys that are on my team, right? Yeah, you're freeing them from their cold, hard prison. I can disable it from over here. Oh, no. Nope. You got to go in. To hang it. To hang it, Bobby. Let's go this Megatech soldier or battle bot. Explore mission unlocked. Boom. Oh, there's a guy you can jump through and save. He's like, help me, please. Power regulator. What are you looking at, Pomp? The game is totally like a version of like World of Warcraft mixed with Ratchet and Clank. I'm just yeah. Saying. Yeah. This music, like every a lot of the the music reminds me of Ratchet and Clank when that character model that first pops up on the cell phone, um, like the the guy who talks about the store, he reminds me of Ratchet and Clank. The uh, cell phone call. Yeah. What's this little dude, huh? Oh. Jeez, oh, Tyler, <laughs> trying to kill someone's pet. Oh, that guy's an engineer. That's why. Okay, got, I gotta disable one more of the power regulator, regulators, and destroy some more mega tech battle bots. Ah, oh, dang it, I don't think I got there in time. I like your swinging ability. Achievement oh, whoa. Boom! Kapuya! You did it! By disabling only three of their computers, you're able to bring down their satellite dish. <laughs> you need Mondo? Man, I love the fact that you can just, like, do a phone call and turn in your quest rather than having to, like, travel back into them. In. Yeah, it's pretty nice. It says it's a spatial anomaly. Oh, what the heck? Where Follow are you going? It. Follow it, Tyler. Don't let it escape you. Where's he going? Jump! What? What? Jump, Tyler! Oh, oh, whoa, shoot. Whoa, whoa. Ah, ah. oh gosh! Oh gosh! Whoa! Oh my gosh! Don't fall off, you'll die. Okay. Hello. Oh gosh! Did you level up? Yeah. Whoa! Look at you. Is that what the guy said? Yeah. Time to crack some skulls. What's this thing? A uh, statue. Hey, you got level up rewards. Okay. Uh, how do I go to that sort of thing? Uh, click on the C rewards, I guess, at the top. New abilities. Sweet. New class ability. You got leap. So is that, that like levels up these abilities that I already have? Yeah, but if you go to your ability uh, builder or whatever it's called, you can swap out different abilities. Okay. But it looks like once I have more abilities that don't fit, I can swap them out. Yeah. Okay. And you got new adventure zones, Crimson Isle and Le Levian Bay. But I don't know if you can actually go there yet. And then, is that it? Uh, yep. Do I, are... I didn't get any items. No. For my sorry. first level up. Oh, whoa. Okay, well you got a sweet, super sweet leap ability. Oh, I almost jumped off. <laughs> I bet if you fall, you'll be okay. You threw the... Is that truthful? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay, where did I come from? I think you actually do have to jump down. Hopefully... Oh, yeah. See, now you've got that green orb thing. You're fine. You can jump and you'll be okay. Oh, really? Trust me. <laughs> trust Trust. You. Trust me. <laughs> oh, wait. It disappeared. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, that almost oh, killed me. <laughs> <laughs> I was pretty sure that you'd be okay. <laughs> I had, like, 10 health left, pretty much. What's happening over here? Oh, it looks like they're having a PvP fight. Oh. <laughs> You're like jumping in, swinging. Yeah, I'll yeah. help you, man. Who's fighting? I'll fight you. All right, so where do I need to go? Why did you end? Oh, nice. <laughs> okay, cool looking. Well, I don't know if I'd say it's cool looking, but it works. You got a pig. You got the mount pig thing. 
And then if you hit Z or Z as I say in Canada, you'll have a mount. Okay. Oh, oh, it was loading. You killed it. You literally killed your pig. You shot it in the back of the head as it was morphing up. Let's go, war pig. Oh gosh, you can jump high. Oh, okay. It's a flying pig. He's like scared. Of, no, no. Um, well, I think we're going to end the episode here. All right, sounds good. Maybe we talk about your impressions of it. What do you think? Um, well, I definitely liked it. I, I didn't know how I was going to like it since I've never really played a game like this, but I I really enjoyed it. And I can't wait to play some more. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't like falling off and almost dying because of you, but... Yeah. And the controls are a little weird, too. Yeah, the controls are definitely going to be take a while to get used to. That's for sure. But I love the fact that they like just give you so much stuff. Yeah. Like the daily rewards. Yeah, how does the daily rewards work? Just every time you log in. Yeah, every time you log in, it gives you new stuff. And if you log in a bunch of days in a row, do your rewards get better and better? Mm, I don't know, because I haven't played this game in a while, and I just unlock like the eighth day or something. So I don't think... like The more days you log in, uh, like I think it's the tenth day once I log in, I get like a super cool pet. And then that like goes up to like I think it's like a hundred and something days or something like that. Oh, and then I think it resets. Dang. Cool, but cool. Thanks guys for watching the Kai and Tai show, and we will see you next time. Bye, bye.